Yo and hello everybody, Mike here, Baseball Collector. I sit here 15 minutes removed from the Hall of Fame announcement for the Baseball Hall of Fame for the class of 2021. Most people would probably take some time to collect their thoughts. I'm not one of those people. And I am not surprised at the results. No one got in. There will be no 2021 class for the Baseball Hall of Fame. The And there was no Veterans Committee voting last December. So you have literally the first time no one is getting in since 1960. 60 years. 61 years, I guess, technically. Since someone has not been elected to the Baseball Hall of Fame in any given year. I am... Uh, as I was watching MLB Network, like maybe many of you, or it was surprise again not surprising at the results. Um, it was going to be a toss up whether Schilling got in. Um, I did a show where I named my ballot of who I would vote for. I don't get a vote, but I of who I would vote for, and I find it. And I started reading some things earlier today on some people's ballots. There were people that had dropped Kurt Schilling from their ballot that had voted for them last year and previous years and their rationale behind it. And, you know, I really just get frustrated when things get looked at that shouldn't be. At le and again, in my opinion, that shouldn't be. Does Kurt Schilling say things that stir up trouble? Yes. Has he done it all after his career is over? Yes. Why would you not vote for him for the Hall of Fame because of that? That doesn't make any sense to me. But I'll tell you what really just, I, I can't understand it. It doesn't, it does kind of make me mad, but it, I just don't get it. 14 ballots were blank. Can anyone, can, I would like to talk to these 14 people and go, how can you possibly leave? There's 25 guys on the ballot. You're telling me none of them are, you know, worthy of Hall of Fame, a Hall of Fame vote from you? And I heard it said by Bob Costas earlier that, you know, they might be doing it in protest or somebody said that on the MLB network. I'm like, what are you protesting? I don't understand. The game? I mean, then stop being a writer. If you don't like the game so much and you don't enjoy the history and respect the history, why are you covering the sport? Go find another job. I don't get it. Uh, 14 blank ballots, completely blank ballots. There's always some, you know, knucklehead out there that doesn't fill out a ballot, you know, for any number of reasons. But 14 of them, like, wow. Um, so, yeah, nobody elected. Interesting. Next year, you'll have, uh, you know, a bunch of guys, probably. And there's several guys that got over the 50% threshold. Scott Rowland, Todd Helton, uh, Omar Vizquel dropped, which I found interesting. Uh, but you got Barry Bonds, Roger Clemens, and Kurt Schilling all on their last year on the ballot next year. It'll be very interesting to see what happens. Uh and there's no real huge names coming on the ballot next year. So could you theoretically have two years in a row when no one is elected to the Hall of Fame? I guess we'll have a veteran. We're supposed to have a Veterans Committee meeting uh, in December this year. So maybe they'll elect somebody. But the writers to not elect someone in two consecutive years. Interesting. Uh, so, yeah, that's my thoughts. Interesting. I don't get to <laughs> no new Hall of Famers. So. That's the news, that there is no news, that nobody got in. Uh, I can't be sitting here talking about Kurt Schilling cards or Barry Bonds cards or Roger Clemens cards that I have or autographs, et cetera, et cetera, and all the fun that that brings, but just wait another year. That's my thoughts. Talk to you guys later. Keep collecting.